There was never a younger version of me that thought, one day, I could work for NASA. It would be a waste to have made it this far and not share that experience somehow, some way, so that the next Janelle knows that they too can come and work at a place like NASA. First day we're in class, we're all sitting at our tables, we're listening to the professor, and he shows this picture on the board of an astronaut fixing the Hubble telescope. We can be engineers that work on stuff like that. So cool, just unreal. He turns to us and says, I'm also the astronaut in that photo. Like, wait, what <laughs> did you just say? I was like, when am I ever gonna have this opportunity again to learn about space from an astronaut? I need to be an aerospace engineer. The mission of NASA is really what drove me to want to work there. It's about benefiting humanity. I'm working in this industry. How do I create space for good? Girls, disadvantaged students, people who don't see themselves normally in this industry at all, that is the audience that I intend to reach. I've been involved in giving keynote talks at conferences, middle schools, high schools, classrooms. I have spread my message through PBS on a show called Sci Girls. I volunteered to be a judge in local competitions like the Science Bowl or Maker Fairs. I've been involved at the YWCA, a local nonprofit in the area on its board. This is what gives me the most happiness, the most fulfillment about my career, but also my life. At MIT, I realized that the people are what make things great. And it's the same thing for a place like JPL. When you're talking about the final frontier like space, what you want is every different kind of mind in the room. And I'm so excited to see those minds join the industry and take it to the next level.